Hey guys, welcome back. I got my hands on three tops chrome. Of course, I ordered the secondary market because in all honesty, it's getting a touch ridiculous to try to get your hands on anything these days. Paying $140 for a blaster of Chronicles basketball, which you couldn't get off the shelf last year, is, is has got me a little soured on the hobby. Um, I had a $60 gift certificate to Amazon, so I bought these for like 100 and something bucks and paid 40 out of pocket, which is about what they would go for. But uh, I don't know. I just think the hobby is getting to the point now and I think it's been this way for a while so I don't really know why I'm bickering about it now but it's just getting to the point now where everybody's out to make a buck and nobody wants to collect anymore you know there are a lot of you guys that follow me that you know you're awesome you're collectors which is great you know, I love watching you with your PCs and all that stuff but there are the people that just don't have a desire to collect anymore they just want to go in and snap up all the stuff on the shelves and uh do nothing with it so there's a Mauricio Dubon it's a nice one those are the sepias Obviously, in here, you're looking for Robert, which, in all honesty, is probably the only name you're really looking for in here. So, it's, it's you know, everybody's racing to get these, and there's, like, one name in here. Granted, people are selling for 100 bucks. It's Sheldon Noose. It's a nice Acuna. Sorry, my light's kind of cast on a little bit of a glare. Let me go up there. So we got uh, Randy. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his last name because I think I've butchered it every time. There's Matt Olson, Refractor. But I'm not sure. Actually, now I need my light, of course, to see. So that ends in 8.5 and the base ends in 8.5. Okay. So that's just a base refractor. I wasn't sure what the image variations look like. I saw that the Mike Trout SSP was online yesterday for like a thousand bucks. And I was like, good God. Yeah, so, well, that would have told me right there that that's not the image variation. There's Devers. Jack Flaherty. Those are the Prism, or just the, uh, they're a refractor of sorts, but they're base refractors, basically. You might have some color in here, maybe? I can't really tell. There's Freddie Freeman. Oh, there's, that's cool. It's a black and white Trent Grisham. So it's the negative. That's very cool. Uh, Devers and DJ MVP Lemayu. There's Nicky Lopez. There's Gio Gonzalez. These are cool. These are die cuts of uh, die cut of Babe Ruth. It's kind of a neat one there. And then Dylan Cease. Another neat thing, guys. I had been realizing, or I realized, and uh, I don't know why I didn't know this, but uh, if you go online, some of these these basketball cards are absolutely going ludicrous. So like. PSA 10s of Michael Porter Jr.'s Prisms from last year, Actually, I'm not sure if it was last year or two years ago, are doing 566 bucks a piece. Oh, nice. There's a refractor, Brendan McKay. It's nice. I like that, too. And I send Diaz. So nothing super spectacular in the first box. Probably got four cards that are keepers. Um, but uh, I went through my box of cards the other day and pulled out 15 of them. So... <laughs> It's one of those things that, you know, you always check in the box thinking, oh, it's nothing, but I'm just going to rush them off to PSA and dump them for what they're worth. I mean, Michael Porter Jr. is doing well. I noticed his numbers have been been on the up and up, but I mean, some of these are getting crazy. Luca's, Luca's base PSA 10 just sold for $1,930, which uh, kind of hurts my mind a little bit if you think about it, but there's Hanser Alberto. There's Yu Chang. So like I said, he's probably the second best prospect in here, in my opinion. Nice rookie. And there's Andres Munoz. There's a nice one of Soto that almost looks miscut because it looks like it's cutting off his head, but maybe it's not. I love Topps Chrome. It's one of my favorite products. It's just, uh, it's gotten to the point now where you can't get your hands on it and I'm not going to chase it. So Pete Alonzo and Rowdy, Rowdy Telez. I'm supposed to be getting a hobby box of it, but... I don't know if my guy got it in yet, and really not going to chase him. Matt Tice is a Brian Anderson refractor, and Adalberto Mondesi. Gene Segura. There's Manny Machado prism. I call those something hypers or something of that nature. It's a nice Tatis Gold Cup. Very cool. Oh, here's a gold. It's a gold Reese. Toskin. So that's going to be to 50, I think. Yep, nice. One of 50. 
I don't buy into the whole eBay 101 crap. So Nico Horner, that's a nice one too. Nice, good pack. That's a really solid pack, actually. Scherzer. Oh, nice. Freshman Flash of Boba Shet. It's all in all a pretty good box. Paul DeYoung. There's Jesus Lazardo. There's Keston Hyrua, Future Stars. I always forget Future Stars as second year cards. When I had the Mookie, I was like, oh, it's a rookie card, but should have known better. That's Brent Brendan McKay again. It's a nice one, too. And a Herman Marquez. So. Not bad. Didn't do bad in that box at all. That's a really good box. Here's our last blaster. Let's pump our packs out. You don't want it. There we go. You know, I'll, I'll search and scour my target when I'm out there, but I'm not going to make extra trips anymore. It's just, who knows when they're coming. Brian Anderson. There is a Carlos Correa refractor and a Luis Castillo. There's a Vlad Guerrero. So there's a Kino. It's a nice one. Kikuchi. There's Brendan Rogers Future Stars. And there's a Vladdy Gold Cup. So very nice. Judge, who's lighting the world on absolute fire. Oh, nice. There we go. So we got a Louis Robert, Freshman Flash. It's a very nice card. Let's leave that up. I like those Freshman Flash a lot. They always look sharp every year. There's Tyler Glass now. Chris Bryant. There's Jordan. That's a nice one. Jordan Alvarez. I don't know what they're going to do with the baseball season. It seems like it's uh, like, you know, when Ramon Laureano charged the dugout yesterday and had the fight. I know the baseball brass is none too, none too pleased with that because I think that's exactly what they're trying to avoid. Christian Yelich, Hyper. There's a Horner on the back. There's Laureano speaking of the devil. There's a Horner base and a Devers. A few more packs. We did get a Robert, so I'm not unhappy about that at all. I love a base, but what they're going for, I'm not going to pay it. So there's Brendan McKay, the insert version. And our last pack, Mojo. Oh, is this, oh, this is the Sepia pack. Okay. Abraham Toro looks like he's going to be a rookie. Munoz. Yep, see? So, like I said, this one must have just been horribly miscut because one's way off center and the other one's... Not so bad. So not bad. Very nice freshman flash. We did get a nice stack of stuff here. We got a nice Trent Grisham, who I think is going to have a good career. That's the negative. Very nice. Brendan McKay, Nico Horner base, Jordan. Aquino base, Brendan McKay. Uh, as a Boba shot, let's we'll leave that up. Nico Horner. We did get a Reese Hoskins to 50. Very nice. Yu Chang, Sepia. Dubon, Sepia. Refractor of McKay. And a die cut of Mr. Babe Ruth. So very nice stuff, guys. I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, be sure to check out my videos. Click subscribe. I am still not in the business of adding subscribers. <laughs> Channel's not really growing, but not too bad either way. I'm, I'm happy with where I'm at, and I'm happy with who watches my videos and comments. Thank you guys all for the support, and uh, catch you all in the next rip. Take care.